the store? All right, Landon, let me see your outfit. Let me see your outfit. Turn around. Oh, are you putting the towel back? Is it my shirt? It's from Tar uh say my shirt's from TJ Maxx. Actually, I think your shirt's from Marshall's. Say my shirt's from Actually, no, no, baby. No. No. Hey. Say my shorts are from Target. Target. And my shoes are from Pat Pat. Your shoes are from Pat Pat. Let me see your outfit, Asher. Say my shirt's from Target. My shorts are from Target. Say Target. Can you say Target? Are you being shy? Say Target. And say my shoes are Vans. Say ooh. Ooh. <laughs> good job, buddy. Good enough. Hello, guys. Say good morning. <laughs> we just got ready. We are actually going to go run to, I think, TJ Maxx and then possibly Target if TJ Maxx doesn't have what we need. We need to go grab some um, counter cleaner. Hopefully they have my favorite one, which is like this eucalyptus one. My camera's dropping. Um, and then um, I want to see if I can find Landon a backpack because Landon's back, um, not backpack, lunchbox because I got Landon a bent. I don't even know. It's like a bento, not bento. I don't even know what it is, but it's like a lunchbox um, thing. And the one that we have, it's like a lunchbox container. So I, we got landed this like lunchbox container, and the lunchbox we have for him is too small for the container. Uh, I mean, it fits the container perfectly, but it doesn't fit anything else in there. Um, are you guys bringing a snack with you? Mommy's gonna bring fiber one bar. You wanna bring that bar? Or do you want a granola bar? Do you want a granola bar? No, the sloth granola bar? Okay, here, hold it. You want that one, Landon? Yeah, I guess. You got this, that one or sloth? You want the cheesecake bar? Yeah. All right, come on. All right, let's go. Let's go in the car. Um, should we bring a water? Let's bring a water. Um, the box that we have, like I said, it just doesn't fit it. So I would like to bring this one for now. Uh, so yeah, I want to get something else. I'm going to try to see if we find one. Um, if they don't have one at TJ Maxx, we'll go there first since it's closer. If they don't have one at TJ Maxx, then we'll go to Target and I'll probably just get the matching one for his backpack. Mom, I get a tablet. No, we're not bringing a tablet. You don't need a tablet. Oops. I just overfilled it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go to TJ Maxx, see if they have anything there. Kind of just browse around. And, yeah. Okay, wait for the car, though, okay? Um, just kind of browse around, see what they have, and then kind of get the kids out of the house. It's 10 o'clock now. You want to carry it? Okay. Um, let's go, boys. In the car. Um, wrong way, baby. This way. So, we'll see what they have. We'll see um, what they have. We just got to TJ Maxx and Asher's asleep. So, um, I don't know, it's like 10, 28. He woke up at six, so he's really, I think he just fell asleep because he's in the car. Oh, cause he should have like another hour before he needs to fall asleep. Um, so we're gonna try to go in here. Don't open the door, buddy. Uh, we're gonna try to go in here, see if they have anything. And if not, we'll just go to Target. Um, and I'm kind of hoping we can go to the rear because I love Target. But um, Lan is just so dinosaur obsessed that all he wants is a dinosaur um, lunchbox. He wants dino everything. And I'm also going to see if I can find any ice packs here. Uh, I found some on Amazon. I found a dinosaur ice pack on Amazon. Um, if we don't see anything here that he likes, then we'll see. And if we don't see anything at Target or here, then I'll try to order that one. It was like $9.99. There's $2 off. Um, so it's like $7.99. Yeah, $7.99, I think, for three ice packs. So not terrible. It's kind of expensive, but not terrible. So we're going to go inside see if we can find anything. You unbuckle yourself? You're ready, huh? Yeah, he's talking and he's ready to go. So we're going to go see what they have at TJ Maxx. All the Halloween stuff already. Yeah. My fault. I dropped it. That's okay. Bye bye, Dad. 
Look, the pumpkins. Oh no. We're not going to Walmart. We're going to Target. <laughs> I like this one. Wait, 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 wait. Stay over here, baby. Come here. I like this pink one. Cute. I really like this. Lana, look, do you like this? I really like that for my office. Can you saying buy it? Yeah. Yeah. This is my favorite cleaner right here. So good. You gonna hold it? You gonna hold it? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab this one too. Oh wait, do I like this one or I think I like this one more. I think it's maybe this one. This one's really good too. I like this one too. All right guys, so we are home now. Um, and I want to show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. My kids are in the background, so. Um, so first thing I got, I end up getting this one. Um, this is the clean, the clean um, earthen home multi-purpose cleaner. This is a lime verbena, verbena, verbena. This is blended with lemongrass essential oil. I'm gonna take the shoes off. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you go put your shoes in the front? Go put your shoes in the front of the house. Go put them in the front. Um, so I ended up getting this one. They all are so good. I've used all of them. But the lemon one just smells so good. The lemongrass with some oil in it smells delicious. Huh? I will. Uh, this is only $3.99, and I love this stuff. Um, I use it on everything. So, yeah, love it. And this one says it's safe to use on marble, granite, and most hard surfaces. And lightly, the lightly... The lightly fragrant scents work perfectly in the kitchen or any room of your home. It gets home spotless clean without worrying about toxic chemicals. I've been really liking this one. Grab this one. Now I thought this one was interesting. I had the Method bath cleaner before, but I feel like it looked different than this one. Um, and so I got this one, uh, Method bath cleaner. This was $2.79. Yeah, it doesn't smell the best, but um, yeah, it tastes kind of, it smells kind of like spearmint, but it also smells kind of like Chemistry. So, but I mean, I've tried this one before. I've liked it, so grab another one. Um, I saw this at checkout, and I had to get it, you guys. Um, so obviously, fall is around the corner. It's already the end of July. It's almost August, and so I love the skinny syrups for my coffee. Um, I'm currently using, I think, cinnamon bun roll, cinnamon roll. Let me see. Yeah, the iced cinnamon roll. I love this, clearly, like look how much is left. I love this one. Um, and then we also use the skinny, skinny syrups, the simple syrup. Um, Cameron uses that one just because I prefer the other, um, like I prefer regular sugar in my coffee, but Cameron likes that one, especially because he drinks iced coffee. And if I drink an iced coffee, I prefer the liquid sugar. Um, but with my hot coffee, I prefer the other sugar. So we love the skinny syrups, they're great. And so I found this one, it's called the Fall Dessert Trio Gourmet Coffee Syrups. Pumpkin caramel scone. Yeah. Yum! There's pumpkin cinnamon roll, even better. And then there's maple donut. And it looks like this. I love fall drinks, like Starbucks fall drinks, like pumpkin, I'm basic. Pumpkin spice coffee is my favorite. The pumpkin cold brew, delicious. I'm really excited for this one. These are like kind of small, um, but this was, the three of these were only $6.99 and for the big ones I paid $3.99. So, I mean, for these little ones, it's not bad. Um, cause how many ounces? These have 12 ounces in them. And then the big one has like 24, 25. So, um, I mean, really, yeah, if anything, one of these. Um, I guess in reality you would need four to make it worth it for that price. Right? Cause it's $6.99, so this is basically $3.99. Another three, ah, uh, nah, it's um, so I got that. And I wasn't even going to grab this, but I didn't even go down that aisle of the C 
syrups because it intrigues me and I end up buying so much. So, and I try not to buy too much syrup because I don't want to have a back stock. So, I don't know. I feel like I only grab them, but can't help it. Flavors for fall, you gotta grab them. Um, so, Landon found this backpack that he liked from Hurley. Um, he says it looks like a dinosaur, so, which, I mean, he loves anything that's camo print. Um, and he said this looks like Daddy, which Daddy is in the air, right? And it's only $9.99, so, and it looks like it's big enough. Let's actually test it. Because um, the issue I was having with the other one is I couldn't fit his lunchbox in there. Yes, I can fit his lunchbox with space still on top for, like, a drink or something, so... Perfect. It looks cute. See, now it fits your lunchbox in there. Yeah. So that's great. Uh, so I've been wanting reusable bags for a while just because I feel like I go through sandwich bags so quickly in snack baggies because I'm constantly giving it to the kids and, you know, there's two of them and they're going through socks like crazy. And I try to reuse them as much as I can, but let's be real, you, it's kind of hard to. Um, so I found this. It was a set of four. It's two sandwich bags and two snack bags. And it was only $4.99. It looks like this. So these are the little um, snack ones. So they're like, small. And then the lunch ones are in the back like this. And I thought this would be really good too even to bring um, send land to school with. Um, so and they're reusable. So it's awesome. And I'm so excited. I love anything that's reusable. So this will be really nice. And I've been really wanting to grab some and I see them on Amazon and I'm like I just want to spend like $20 on reusable bags which I don't know why I'm like that because I'm like very quick like if you think about it, how often I go through bags I'm probably spending that in the long run but to spend $20 on something is a little different so next I end up getting this shirt for Landon that was super cute it's actually on clearance for $3 um, and it's Levi it looks like this so cute I thought it'd be so cute for school. Um, I'm not, I don't want to say like I'm a name brand freak or anything because I'm not. My kids wear Walmart and Target all the time clothing because I think they have great clothing. Um, but you know, like I want my son to dress up a little bit more for school because I feel like growing up, I mean, it's really truly nothing. I mean, most likely he's going to damage everything that I got him. Um, but like if you want to teach him Max, it's really not that bad. Like, I mean, at least for me, like I can justify spending three dollars on a shirt because I can justify spending three dollars on a Levi shirt at TJ Maxx when I'll spend three dollars at Walmart for a plain t-shirt so um grab this and I also recently grabbed um landed some shirts at the Dollar Tree like plain uh, t-shirts I think the brand was guard I forget what it is called um but they're plain t-shirts super cute they're a buck at the Dollar Tree you best believe I grabbed some for my kids because guess what um, shirts are expensive, clothes is expensive, kids ruin their clothes so quickly, so I'm not opposed to that, so I know some people are like, oh, you're all about name brands, and I'm like, I'm, tr I'm truly not, like, I shop at TJ Maxx and the Dollar Tree more often than you know, because I love it, I love the thrift store, I actually got landed a bunch of stuff from the thrift store recently too, um, and so yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to slowly get his own stuff for school, he's only going twice a week, so really he doesn't need that much. Um, but I want him to have a difference of school clothes and, you know, play clothes and then clothes that he can wear like on the weekends and stuff just because, I mean, my mom did that to me growing up and I feel like, you know, you don't feel as guilty if they ruin an outfit that you spent so much money on. Um, but truly, I won't spend a lot of money on clothes. So, that's just me. Yes. What happened? You want yours? You want yours? I made a huge order on Pat Pat for my kids and I got like them a bunch of shoes. And I paid like five bucks, maybe four dollars for these shoes. And they actually, oh. they actually like light up. So super cute. I got him like three pairs for school and then I got Asher a pair. Asher really has a lot of shoes because he has hand-me-downs from Landon. But, uh, but I did get Landon a pair of Nike socks. It's um, uh, eight pack, I think it is. Yeah, it's in, yeah, eight of them. Um, and I got them. I think they're super cute. They're all black. He actually has been needing some new socks. I swear he loses his socks like crazy. Um, and these were $9.99 for eight. So, wasn't too bad. I thought they were really cute. 
Um, so I did grab those and he needed socks again for school because he um, like has none. And the socks that we do have are from like the Dollar Tree just because he sees them, he likes them, I'll buy them. Um, and actually, believe it or not, the Dollar Tree um, socks are actually really comfortable. I have a few myself. Um, but yeah, I needed some new ones. I bought a huge pack on Amazon like last year, black and white ones. And I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that. And I don't have any of them anymore because he loses them. So I was like, but hopefully these socks are going to be, once he comes home from school, he's going to take them off and like, hopefully. Um, I did buy him a lot of Nike outfits for school and my mom did too, like shirts and stuff. So I just feel like if you're wearing Nike, you have to continue wearing Nike. Like you can't wear like Under Armour shorts with a Nike shirt. That's just me at least, but whatever. And then I also, last thing I got was this um, flashcard set. It's, I showed it at the store, but it was $6.99 for this. And he can actually write his letters on here with like um, an erasable uh, marker and then just reuse it. And I thought this would be really nice and it'll be good for both the kids. Um, and they're actually really big too, so, and they're double-sided, so I thought this would be really nice for the kids too. More so for Landon, but eventually Asher as well. Um, but that's what I got at the Dollar Tree today. Um, but that's what I got at TJ Maxx. I didn't get too much, but I got enough that I'm like, dang it. But, I mean, most of it we needed anyway, so. It is what it is. I got both boys a nap. I'm actually just warming up some leftovers. I made like a steak stir fry yesterday, so I'm just gonna warm that up for lunch myself it's like almost one o'clock it's like 12 50. both boys are napping Asher woke up as soon as Atlantic fell asleep and I was like but well, he went back to sleep but I was just looking at this little thing I'm just trying to clean up everything I got um, these are super cute Landon's been struggling with his letters um he's just not fully getting like he understands and he knows certain letters and then there's other letters that he just like completely doesn't get. Um, so yeah, this is really cute. So it has like the front, and trace the A, apple, my ears like puffing. And then in the back has letter A practice. So it actually has um, the uppercase and lowercase A's that you can practice on. Um, and then ant at the bottom. So two different letters. Um, and then it comes with a marker. So I didn't realize it actually has a start. So it shows you with the arrows to go down and then it has stop in here and then it has here. Huh. No, I feel like I just definitely did that wrong. And like how easy it is just to come off. So down, down, there. Oh, actually it has you do the A like this here. And then here. Cute. Oh, it actually doesn't have you stop, does it? I don't know. We'll see. Cute. And I think this is nice because it's actually like a pretty thick cardboard. So hopefully we can get working on his letters because we're a little I've tried so many different methods and nothing is like clicking with him certain things do uh, but then certain letters just aren't clicking so hopefully this helps and this is cute so I can use it for both kids and it, like I don't know if I said it was like $6.99 so it's not that bad um, so yeah just trying to clean up some of the stuff and I hear Asher yep I hear Asher okay. Are you gonna come down? Huh? <laughs> Are you tired? Come, Mama. Come here. It's alright. Oh, that hair. You tucked her? Yeah. Yeah, Mommy just holds you. Yeah, Mommy just to hold you. Yeah, okay, I can hold you. This is what I'm talking about. Like, he just wants a mama all the time. Okay, so I'm going to eat my lunch and hold him back to sleep, hopefully. So, let's see how this works. <laughs> Asher woke up from his nap, and he like, just won't go back down. I had my lunch while holding him, and he slept like maybe another 
20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, but that's about it. But he slept, um, I think he slept like a total of, he slept like just over an hour. So, I mean, I guess that's good, better than nothing. Um, I actually just let him have his tablet um, because I'm going to make myself a coffee and then we're going to watch a movie together. But I'm also going to make my coffee now and then I'm going to make Cameron's coffee um, for work tomorrow. Um, we have the Breville espresso machine. Um, I usually do like an instant coffee most mornings. I'm kind of over the Keurig right now. I go through like phases with my Keurig, but kind of over it right now. I usually like it more in the like fall and winter because that's usually when I get like the flavored coffee cups. Um, but right now I've just been like like plain coffee and then having a syrup in it. So I've been just doing that. Um, Cameron likes espresso. He's been loving lattes. Um, so we make him um, coffee. Um, we have some coffee, uh, espresso grounds. Um, and then I don't have any more of, oh, I do have more of my Portuguese one, but I'm not gonna open that up. Um, but Cameron gets black rifle um, uh, espresso grounds. Um, he gets them on Amazon. There are, it's actually really good. Um, I'll link it down below for you guys. I'll try to remember to link it down below for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to check it out. Um, just gonna make myself a coffee for me, and then I'm gonna make myself. I'm gonna so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Cameron a coffee first, um, just so because he likes it iced. So we just make it hot, and then we put it in the fridge and let it chill out. And then in the morning, he'll usually add milk and then put it over ice, and then that's it for him. For me, I'm gonna make myself I think a hot coffee. And I'm really excited because I'm gonna I haven't made a hot coffee in a while, and I'm gonna make it with one of these pumpkin flavors. I don't know which one yet, but let's make coffee. Um, we're gonna do four shots of espresso. Cameron likes a bigger uh, four shots because he does this 24 ounce of uh, coffee. Two, take our coffee. It's only a little bit of espresso. Two shots again. Um, I'm gonna not put any sugar in this just because I don't know how sweet this one is yet. So we're going to add, I guess, just a little bit. Okay. Um, I kind of like lots of and then we're gonna add on. Nope. I like a lot of milk in my lattes. My mom always makes fun of me because she's like, no, she likes cappuccinos and she likes a lot of foam. And I'm opposite, like I like a little foam and a lot of um, milk. Oh, I need cinnamon, cinnamon, you can't forget cinnamon. We're gonna have some pumpkin coffee. You guys, wow. This one doesn't even taste like super pumpkin-y. Like, I feel like you can taste, thank you so much. I don't wanna put parsley in my coffee though. Thank you, do you have some milk? Hey, does Ash want milk? Does Ash want some milk? Can you go get a cup if you want some milk? I feel like I probably could have done one more shot of espresso, um, but I don't want too much just because it's already 1.30, so. Got some milk, get a cup. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this cup of coffee.
with Asher and we're actually gonna watch a movie and relax while Landon sleeps a little bit longer. Hopefully he sleeps. I gotta clean up this too. And don't you hate when you clean up your kitchen and then you make a mess and you have to clean it again? I hate it. So we're gonna go ahead and relax and have some more quiet time. Uh, I want to edit a video today, but I don't know if I'll be able to because of the boys. So we shall see. We shall see. I have to fold some laundry. Cameron's actually coming home. Um, I don't know why, but there's just something about folding laundry in bed that I like, love. Everyone else, like, my, like, laundry room just isn't big enough. Um, it's, like, it's weird. Like, they put it in between, like, my, like, walking out of my bathroom and to the hallway that ends up connecting to the kitchen. It's, like, just, like, a weird placement. So I feel like, you right here. So I feel like it's just weird. Um, and it's like really small because of the double doors in there. He's just needs Jexy. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I always like bring the clothes to my room to fold. Um, and I just like lay it in bed. And then, I don't know, I like, I'll fold sometimes in the living room and stuff. But the kids are actually having a snack and watching a word party right now. Um, so that gives me like, hopefully a few minutes to fold my laundry quickly um since Cameron's coming home um it's like 3 30 now he's coming home now so I'm just gonna hang out with dad for a little bit um probably go sit outside um enjoy some of the warm air it's uh, try to enjoy some of the warm weather it's actually like, really nice outside right now um but yeah and then we're probably gonna make some pizza soon and then pretty much call it a night um, I gave the boys a bath yesterday, so they don't need a bath today. Um, yeah, I don't know. My life is just so boring. Like, I swear, sometimes people are like, oh, like, I like the day in the lives. Like, just keep filming them. And it's like, honestly, I don't do anything. Like, I don't go anywhere, really. I don't do anything. I'm pretty much always home. Um, so I feel like, too, like, being a stay-at-home mom, like, I could easily go to the store every day. And just blow all my money and you know I feel like with one income coming in you gotta be a little bit more cautious sometimes so that's just me at least I know some people don't care and they just still blow all their money even rack up their credit cards and that's just not something that I like to do so um, just a little bit more cautious I'm just moving in now because my dog just keeps shaking the bed um, I know too like we usually spend time with my, my mom usually like Wednesday um, Usually definitely Thursday, Fridays. Sometimes on Wednesdays, my mom will come over after work or we'll hang out with her depending on if she works or not. My mom's been working a lot lately, so we haven't seen her as often as we usually do. Um, but, yeah, we don't really do anything in the week. Like, usually it's focusing on cleaning, kids taking their naps, activities. Ow. Broke my nail and it hurts. Um, so we don't really do much, like, at all kind of boring like sometimes I feel like a little overwhelmed and I get like bored and stuff but like that's why like sometimes like we'll go to the store or something but usually like you know try to stay home do what I have to do at home um, yeah life's boring I don't know some of these people like and I don't have any friends either so I think that makes it worse for me at least because I don't have anybody but my mom or Cameron and my kids so like that makes it a little bit more boring, I guess. I don't have any friends. But it's all right. I'll make friends one day. I feel like I'm going to have a hard time making friends here just because of, I don't know, like, Cameron's base isn't that big. So if he doesn't like anyone that he works with, then it's going to be harder to make friends. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. But I'm just going to pull some laundry.
making our pizzas right now. Yeah, um, nice. The boys are just, I'm just putting the sauce on and I'm gonna let them have fun with putting the toppings on. We're just doing pepperoni and cheese, keeping it simple, but help them have fun. Yep, go ahead. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, can you turn off the light in your bedroom, please? Okay. Thank you. Make Karen's lunch with me. How's your pizza? Hot. 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 I'll try it. Good job. Hot. Mmm. <laughs> it's hot. Hot mess right now, but the pizza came out so good. The boys did such a good job on them, and I'm actually making some cookies. I'm using the Malo uh, Malonia Magnolia table um, cookies from Joanna Gaines, and we're making some cookies right now. I just made it, and I just put the cookies in the oven. So yeah. we're gonna make this. Yes. Oh, it's okay. Um, I'm making these cookies. They only take about like 10 minutes, and then we're actually gonna go. For a walk around the neighborhood, we're gonna take the boys' police car and just take a little walk. That's probably gonna be it for the rest of the night. Um, because then I think it's already 6:40. Yeah, so the boys are gonna go to bed as soon as we come back, and we're gonna call it a night. So you wanna end the vlog with me? All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hi guys. Say I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hi guys. Nope. Say I hope you enjoyed this video. I do wonder. Nope. Say I. I hope. You yeah. enjoy yeah. this this video. Like it. Give it a thumbs up. Give it up. <laughs> and yeah. subscribe. No, not thumbs down. Not a thumbs down. A thumbs up. Oh my up. A thumbs up. Thumbs up. And say subscribe. Hey guys. Subscribe. So guys. And I'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah.